In the previous video, we began exploring this equation, delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. And what we found out is that if delta H is negative and delta S is positive, this will always correspond to a negative delta G, which means the reaction is always spontaneous. However, if we have a positive delta H and a negative delta S, both of these correspond to unfavorable uh, contributions to the reaction, endothermic and creating order. So these will both combine together to give us a delta G that's always positive, which is never spontaneous. Okay, so if we have opposite signs of delta H and delta S. So if delta H is negative, but delta S is positive, or delta H is positive and delta S is negative, then we'll have conditions where we always have a spontaneous reaction or never. But if we have a combination where we have both of these values being negative, or we have a situation where both the values are positive, then in these cases we're going to produce temperature dependent reactions. So under some conditions the reaction can be spontaneous, but by changing the temperature we'll actually see that we can change it from being spontaneous to non-spontaneous. So let's explore this first situation first. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this over here. Delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and make up some very general values here. Let's say delta H is equal to negative 100, and let's say our entropy value is equal to negative 10. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plug these values in here. We have negative 100 minus the temperature times negative 10. All right, and let's first figure out what delta G is going to be if we have a temperature that's low. Let's go ahead and say it's 1 Kelvin. So in this case, we have negative 100 minus 1 times negative 10. And collectively, this gives us a delta G value of negative 90. This is still, so this is still negative, so this is spontaneous. So at low temperatures, the reaction is spontaneous. But what happens if we increase the temperature up to a temperature of 100 Kelvin? Well, in this case now, we have negative 100 minus 100 times our delta S of negative 10. So here we have a total of, this is negative 1,000. So we have negative 100 minus negative 1,000 and in this case, we have a total value of 900. So delta G in this case is 900. So we've gone from a situation where we have a spontaneous reaction to a situation where we have a non-spontaneous reaction. So it's non-spontaneous at high temperatures. Okay, so when the sign of delta H and delta S agree, and they're both negative, then the reaction is only spontaneous at low temperatures. And the reason for that is because the entropy is not favorable. So the higher the temperature, right, so the higher the temperature here, the more weight this unfavorable entropy term gets. It gets to be bigger and bigger and bigger, and eventually it's going to reach a temperature where it overcomes the enthalpy and the reaction becomes non-spontaneous. Okay, let's switch it up now and make both of our values positive. So we have delta G equals delta H minus T delta S, and we'll go ahead and say that delta S equals 10 and delta H equals 100. Okay, we'll start off with our low T situation first, where we have one Kelvin. So if delta H is 100, 
minus our t, which is one, times our delta s, which is 10, combined together, this gives us delta g equals 90. Okay, so this is non-spontaneous. And this happens at low temperatures. If we switch up the temperature and make it, so high temperature now, let's make it 100 Kelvin. We now have delta G equals our 100 minus 100 Kelvin times our entropy of 10. So we now have a delta G value that's equal to 100 minus 1000 or negative 900. This is spontaneous, and this is at high temperatures. Okay, so if the sign of enthalpy and entropy are both positive, then the reaction will be spontaneous, but only when we get to temperatures that's high enough that our favorable entropy will overcome the unfavorable enthalpy. In the next video, we'll wrap this up and explore some of these calculations just a little bit more.